Well, hey there, YouTube and CB radio people. Got a package in the mail today. See, it's a pretty, pretty big box. Can you guys guess what's in it? I'm going to go ahead and get it cracked open. Go ahead and take a look at them and do some testing. So stand by. Well, so far looking so good. Got it. Bunch of packing peanuts in there. Look like it's pretty well packed and shipped. Stand by. Okay, we're getting a little closer. We got most of the packing peanuts off of there. Well, I, I see two things in there. I've got them out of the box. This one here um, looks like it, it got wiped off. But what a nice touch, huh? That's a nice touch to put thanks on there. I appreciate that. Let's get these things opened up. I know you guys are wanting to see what they are. Alrighty, so I guess they've uh, currently changed the name on these. If you watch any of my videos, if you go back several videos ago, you'll see I had one of these, but it had a different name on it. So I guess they've changed the name on them now. And the old case was, um, it was, a uh, what do they call it? Um, eh, not clear coated. Um, the other stuff, powder coated, it was powder coated clear. These are not, these are just raw aluminum, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. And I believe the wires have been upgraded to a larger size since um, the last one I had. This, I could be wrong. That does look like it's a larger wire there. Both of these are identical. And I'm going to go ahead and put Anderson clips on both of these. Well, you're waiting for what I'm waiting for. Let's open them up one by one and take a look inside. Okay, I'm going to try to, there we go, set it up right there. Hopefully it'll stay okay while I open this up. Now for you guys who do watch my videos, you might be asking yourself, why did you get more of these? Didn't you sell one of these like a month ago or something? I did. I had one of these. And I don't know, for whatever reason I decided to sell it. Sold it to a nice fella out in Arizona. And after I sold it, started thinking, well, I want another one of those. And I'll tell you why. Because so far out of everything that I put it in my uh, mobile, in the F-150, um, I liked the way the other one of these I had ran the best. Um, I had no problem seeing a thousand watts PEP in the uh, in the F-150, and it didn't pull on the battery too hard for what it is. Um, it's about the right size. The one I've got in there now, I'm, I'm real happy with the amp I got in the F-150 now. It's a custom built. 1x4 Altashiba, 12290, driving four 2879s, built by a guy, uh, I don't, I'm not going to mention his name because the fellow that originally sold me that amp many years ago told me don't, don't let him know that you got a hold of it. Not, not that he knew me or anything, but I guess, I don't know, long story. I guess the story goes the builder was trying to buy it back from the guy who bought it and it made its way over here uh, and I end up getting it and I don't know I just don't mention the maker of that other amp kicks ass though just does a fan the fans really loud in that other amp because it's in such a small little case it's in like a one by two case and it's a one by one by four but it definitely gets out. 
Okay, I'm liking what I see so far. Last one of these I had, I actually posted a picture of it up on the uh, um, BBI uh, Facebook group. And quite a few of the folks said, oh yeah, cool, yeah, I've ran one of those, nice amp. A few guys said, who built that thing? Were they drunk? You know, just talking smack like people do. But it did have a lot of wires in the last one, I, I noticed. This one here is uh, void of all those wires. It looks like they've uh, maybe found a way to clean it up. I noticed already the power wire goes in at a different location. It's a different color board. And the other one wasn't that old. I mean, it, it was, you know, built within a year. I, I believe it looks like it might have a larger fan in it. I'm really not sure. I can't remember how big the other one was. But here's the first out of these two. We're going to open them both up. They're being labeled as a Thumper 800. I guess the LD is a low drive. And you've got the preamp, which I could really care less, but it does have it. Okay, your high and your low settings, your on and off. Okay. So, I think, from what I remember, this is larger wired than the last one. Definitely looks like it is. Um, it's a different color board. Although that really doesn't mean anything. It, it is a different color than the last one was. Um, I know on the last one it had quite a few wires, you know, running across. And, you know, I guess this is just a different design, a different board now. Okay, something else I don't see though. In the last one it actually had the 5-watt uh, uh, resistors running across. And this one doesn't have it. So I'm guessing it's all um, little surface mount uh, SMT now, I'm, I'm guessing, since I don't see them. I mean, they have to be in there. But I just thought you guys would like to see in here. I mean, I, I definitely like to see what's in something before I run it. I like to open it up, take pictures, document it, you know, see what see what makes things go. Yeah, this one's a lot simpler and cleaner than the last one. And to tell you the truth, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to look identical since the last one was built within the last year. Well, that's pretty cool. Check it out for the fan. I guess it's going to the fan. You got on, ground. So here's your power comes in at right there. Obviously, your positives distribute it through this through this uh, trace here. And yes, those are the. Well, what's branded as the Palomar ERF 9530s. Same exact thing that was in the other one. And it is a two, two driving eight. Oh, okay, I just noticed something. Check this out. So this must be the little, yeah, these are the little surface mount. Uh, look at that. Instead of the I guess, you know, the regular metal clads we're used to seeing, or, or this style here. Silver dip micas, it's got the little surface mounts on those. What's good about these is, is these are so cheap. They were, you know, like $5 a piece. They're, they're creeping up there, I guess, to around $7 a piece now. Um, if you have one of these or you're going to get one, I'd, I'd recommend buying extras. The last one I had, I did buy 10 extras and I sold it with it to the fella. And since I knew I was going to get another one of these, I've uh, since went and ordered more of them. Never had problems with the last one. It seemed like a real durable device, but I, I just wanted them just in case. Because these are so easy. I mean, these are nothing to change yourself. Got three, three legs for solder and a Phillips screwdriver. That's all we got there. Okay, looks like he's got some... 
decent amount of heat heat sink compound underneath there. I just wonder how much of this is uh because I know they probably get these boards from overseas. I just wonder how much of this is pre pre put together and how much of it you know does the assembler actually do. Um I don't know, that probably could have been wrapped a little tighter there. Nothing, I don't know, I don't see anything I'm upset with. Alright, let's test this one out, and then we'll test the next one. Stand by. Alright folks, I've got the 959 I always use here. Just stock 959, just have the modulation turned up a little bit. Using a SRA-198 noise canceling mic, so it's not going to show the power you know like a uh, power mic or something would um, I've only got a 50 amp supply here on this bench right here so I don't want to run it hard and pop the internal fuse in that power supply so here's what we've got um, okay 5 watt scale Radio only. I believe this this meter on the five watt reads low, so that's probably closer to four. I I think, from what I've seen. Let's see what we're swinging up to. Radio only. Hello. Hello, audio, audio, audio. One, 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 one. Audio. 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 Hello. Hello. Okay, that's going on the dummy load, so like 30 watts. That's that's all we're seeing out of this radio right now. Um, running running through the amp, about 30 watts. Might see like 35, you know, if it's not running through the amp. So you run through the amp, you're going to see a little lower when it's not on. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on the... Well, let's leave it there. Let's leave it on the 50-watt scale. Put it on low. Turn the amp on. Yeah, same amount of air as the other one. Pretty quiet. Same kind of dead key we got. 50 watt scale. Thirty-five watt dead key out of the amp. See, this is about what I was seeing out of the other one. Um, now the builder told me with about three to four watts in, I should see a two hundred watt dead key, and I wasn't seeing that out of that other amp, and I'm not seeing it out of this one from what I just saw. I've done a lot of reading online. I mean, I know I'm only feeding to 50 amps, but that shouldn't affect the dead key. Um, some people online say, hey, you know, 4 or 5 watts gets me a 200 watt dead key. Other people say, you know, you need between 8 and 12 watts in there to get this thing going. And that's, what I think, what we're going to see out of here. Anyways, put it on the 1,000 watt scale. Once again, I only got a 50 amp supply here, so on low. Let's see what we're doing on the 1000 watt scale here. This is PEP. See, that's like, it's not even 50 watt. Dead key. Hello. 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 Basically, right what I saw with the other one, right about 750 or something lower or whatnot. Um, I don't know if we're going to get any more on this, being that I'm on a 50 amp supply, but let's see. This is just testing right now, make sure they're working, give you guys a video. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, look at that. Okay, here's a little power. Okay, and high power, what kind of a dead key are we seeing?
Okay, okay, we do see a higher head key on high power. Let's go to the 250 scale. About a 130 watt dead key. There we go. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense now that we're on high power. Alright. Thousand watt scale. Hello. 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 Uh. Hello. Yeah, we're almost touching that uh, about 900, and you can definitely hear it just starving for power here. We're on 14.2 uh, volts at 50 amps, so we're probably not even getting that. This is a, um, in case you're interested, this is one of the uh, uh, megawatt power supplies the fellow sells on eBay. Uh, eBay and um, Amazon and whatnot. They're, they're a good power supply. But uh, let's face it, um, 50 amp supply isn't, isn't really made to run this. And the radio, that, that's on a separate supply. But uh, yeah, we're seeing about 900 there. Hello? Hello? Actually, it's it's tickling the one KW PEP. So working great, no no problems here. Okay, stand by. I'm gonna put this one back together, and we're gonna try the other one. Make sure it does the same numbers. Alrighty, folks. Here we are on the second one here. I'll go ahead and bore you with taking the screws out. I know one thing I can't stand is watching these builders using a impact wrench that uh, just strips these screws. I mean, I understand if you're in a hurry, you got to do you got to do to get them out. I don't, you know, unscrewing them really doesn't bother me. But when they fast, when they put them back in, it's like a lot of guys. They don't know how to work the clutch on it, or, you know, a lot of these impacts, they don't have a clutch, and you, you just got to know when to stop based on the sound and, you know, feel of the trigger and everything else. And some of these guys, they just drive them in, and you can just hear it. Da, 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 da. These are little tiny screws, you know, stripping the heads out. So I just prefer to always use a regular screwdriver handheld screwdriver and uh, yes takes a little longer but uh, I can feel how tight I make every screw I'm not gonna strip anything you know same thing goes with automotive repairs you see these guys man running impacts on everything and I get it you're in a hurry you can run an impact to you have it on the lowest setting just to get everything started. But I'm one of those guys, you know, I like to either fill it with a ratchet, you know, I'll pull it with, with I don't know, valve cover gaskets, oil pan bolts, uh, transmission pan bolts, whatever, rear differential. I like to fill it with my hand. I know, you know, how tight I'm making something. And even then, I know. Call me old fashioned or whatever, but I like using a torque wrench. Um, the manufacturer suggested for, for a reason, and I just like doing it. That's automotive repair. But, all right, let's open this one up. Okay, no surprises. Looks just like the other one. Okay. Same positive, negative. Like I say, I think these could have been wrapped tighter myself. But uh, if it works, that's all that matters to me. Everything looks about the same in here. 
don't know how many amps that relay is. I'd have to check, but it appears it appears adequate to me. Same surface mount where the metal clads would have been. I know some guys talk so much smack about these, but uh, I've seen other guys test them and they seem to hold up just fine. Okay, same as the other one. Um, I'll have to look on the video. I don't remember if that's the same brand on the other fan or not, but it looks about the same size. Let's get the cover on and we'll test this one. Stand by. Alrighty, haven't tested anything yet, just like the last one. Um, go ahead and start off radio first. Everything's off here. Let's see. Okay, that's on modulation. On power. Three and a half watts. Eh. What are you going to do? I think that meter's off a little bit. Alright. Hello, 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 audio. Hello. All right, let's go ahead and go to the 50 watt, just like the last one. Hello, uh, audio, audio. Same thing we saw, same radio. Stand by and we'll turn the amp on. Alrighty, we're going to put it on low, just like the last one. Same thing, 50 amp supply. Yep, fan sounds just like the other one. We're on the 50 watt scale. On the other one, I believe we saw about 30, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that one's showing about 40. And now let's go ahead and put it on the 250 scale. And we'll put it on high power here. and see what this one here does. Yeah, I believe that's right about what we saw to the other one. Okay, stand by and we'll go ahead and modulate in it. Give me a second. Real quick, if you're wondering why I got these other two meters here, this is the one I use, my buddy 191. Uh, probably heard him in some of my videos. That guy's always blowing smoke out of his his uh, uh, mobile setup. So he ordered these meters. First he ordered, uh, yeah, he ordered this one first. And uh, he told me it didn't work. And then he ordered that one, you know, workman, workman, because this one's... To buy this one now, this used to be a $35 meter like four or five years ago. They're like $130 now. Just, you know, the way things are going. So he ordered that one and he told me this one doesn't work either. So he said, here, take these pieces of junk. So I uh, I looked them up on eBay or Amazon, wherever he got them from. And they don't specify whether they're RMS or PEP on there. So I went to the manufacturer's website for this one, and this is an RMS only meter. And then from reading through forums, this one here, even though it doesn't specify, RMS meter. So neither one of these do PEP. Anyways, let's go ahead and test this out now. We'll go ahead and put it on the low power. We're on the 1000 watt scale. I believe the other one was seeing just around 750. So here we go. Hello, audio. Hello, hello. Yeah, showing around 800. Put it on the high. Okay, there's that higher dead key. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. 
Same as the other one, tickle on that thousand on the 50 amps. Of 